Let's go. This has been lowered, hasn't it? Yeah, yeah. Oh, well, let me drive. What for? Go I'll show you how to drive a lowered car. Comedian. Oh, Oops. Oh, Oh, oh that will come out. Hey guys, Raj Sanger of Cardi Security. Welcome back to the channel and another episode of Cass Unplugged. Where am I? I'm actually in the loft demo room for Home AV Direct. You've got loads of different materials as we have here. We've got steel, perspex, glass, wallpaper, plasterboard, carpet. And typically to get a loft room to sound good is very difficult. Well, if you come to Home AV Direct, we can show you without breaking the bank how to make a loft room sound extremely good. In this room, we've got a Focal 5.1 surround setup with a Denon AVR hooked up to a Samsung 65 inch screen. Let me quickly show you the other three demo rooms we have here at Home AV Direct. Directly below our loft room, we have our flagship cinema room, a full on cinema room. Check this out guys. So in the cinema room, we have a fixed 104 inch screen 13 KEF speakers, full-on Dolby Atmos 7.2.4, all run off Arcam amplification. It's Control 4 as well. This room sounds amazing. Temporarily, we have in this room a Hisense Ultra Short Throw Projector. Give us a shout, drop us an email if you'd like a demo in this room. And finally, two smaller demo rooms. This one here is like a Sonos. 5.1 surround demo room. And then we've got sort of man cave style room. So guys, autumn, winter months, you tend to spend a lot more time at home. Plus we've got the World Cup, we've got Black Friday around the corner and we've got Christmas around the corner. So if you're after any gifts for yourself or for a loved one, go on the homeav.co.uk website, have a look at all the products we sell if you'd like something specific to listen to, like a, a set of speakers married with a separate uh, AVR amplifier, drop us an email or give us a call and we can hook that up for you. Come in, have a listen and grab yourself a deal. So guys, whilst we're talking about Black Friday and Christmas, we've had all the latest JBL portable audio drop back into stock and it's actually the new model. So we got Flip 6, we got Charge, We've got Extreme and we've got the boom boxes all on the Home AV Direct website. Perfect Christmas gifts. Let's have a chat with Blade. What's happening, Blade? So all of you know Blade. Uh, he does all the videos, uh, the unboxing videos, and he's front of house. What's been going on in the shop the last few weeks? Workshop's been ramo, to be honest with you. We've had a lot of big jobs in. Um, what videos have you dropped on the channel recently? Done quite a few recently. I've done a uh, wiring kit comparison video, uh, I've done line out converter comparison video, and we're currently filming a three part series on what you can get in your vehicle for a certain budget, essentially. So we've already filmed the 500 pound one, just finished filming the 1000 pound one. Okay. We're going to go up to the 2000 pound one. So more recently, it's more informative videos. That's it, yeah. All right, guys, uh, if you've not watched those, description below, you can watch Blade doing his thing and showing you the products and so on. He's very, very good at it, but don't tell him that because he gets a bit, you know. Right. Nice one, Blade. Okay. Still got my 964 here in the middle of the showroom on the plinth. Normally we do switch them around every month. We haven't had a chance, but actually in a couple of days, the 964 is going out and my E36 M3 will be on the plinth. Now, before we show you what's in the car park and the workshop, Slam Sanctuary. The new t-shirts have landed. They are on the website, slamsanctuary.com. Um, obviously, support the brand, grab your new t-shirts. There's a few more hoodies and t-shirts landing on the website in the next few weeks. So yeah, keep an eye on the website. Right, let's get over into the workshop and I'll show you what's in the car park first. Right, so in the car park today, we've got Matt's Jaguar here. We've got my GR Yaris. Now, that's just had a suspension upgrade, KW Variant 3 suspension. Thank you to Swift Performance for doing the wheel alignment. We've already dropped an episode on the channel. If you've not watched that, click on the link here. And we've got our 997 GT3-ish, 997 C2S. 
that's actually going up for sale very soon along with our F80 M3 and our Mustang. We've actually already sold our Merc W124 Slam Sanctuary Customs project and I recently sold my Ferrari F355. Uh, customers Lexus, we've just removed the air ride off that, he's selling the car and another GR Yaris, customers GR Yaris, uh, just done a power base speaker upgrade. I think we're doing about two or three of those a week. Very, very, very popular. Not very expensive, but what you get for your money, absolutely amazing. So we've got our Mercedes GLE, that's going into the workshop now to have a full audio install. Remember last episode, I showed you the tarmac that was lifting here? We've got somebody, hence why there's a skip behind me. Um, they're starting on Saturday. They're going to rip all of this out and redo it. So by the time the next episode comes out, this will all be done. Now let's get into the workshop. Right, let's show you what's in the workshop. Firstly, we've got this Jaguar XJ. J, is it a Jaguar XJ? This is an XJR. Stick that on. Okay. But it's a Jaguar XJR. What we've done to that? Full audio. So we've done the JL Audio VXI amp, built-in processor. That's a very really, good bit. Of really kit. good amp. DRC controller. Um, we've done front and rear speakers. Audison. Audison again, customer want it quite bright, so he's done, there's apertures on the front of the dash. Customer obviously likes his music. Yes. This is This is top end stuff, guys. Yeah. This is top end stuff. And uh, we've got another one coming in now, uh, which is a GLE for a sub amp. With a JL Audio Ho Box with a JL Audio amp. So yeah. JL Audio Ho Box? Yeah, well, they call we'll, it the Ho Box. We'll show you a picture of the Ho Box. <laughs> yeah. Ho is not what you think, what, you know. Number is HO. We'll show you so a picture. So. If you give me the mic back, I can see Palms over there. Yeah. Uh, let's give the mic to Palm. Uh, you crack on. All right, cool. Lunchtime. Oi! Mic up. Stop playing around. So, Palm. Lovely Z8 here. Whose is this? Well, I know whose it is, but whose is it? Uh, this is uh, Imran. Imran from Evolve, Stroke Eventuri. And uh, I'm just sorry, I just, uh, I've not heard it because we've been away when they completed it last yeah. week. It sounds absolutely amazing, mate. We've uh, filmed an episode on this car, haven't we? Yeah, so there is a uh, audio install episode coming out on this where we'll tell you what, what's gone in the vehicle. We'll also get Imran's uh, first impressions on it as well. So you get to see what he thinks of it. I'm blown away by this. It's running a Sony GSX-9 head unit. And I'll go into more depth in, on the separate video on this yeah. vehicle with all the rest of the stuff. But mate, um, did you manage to speak to Imran see if he's going to bag this? Uh, yeah, he's got it booked in for airbags next month. Uh, <laughs> guys, watch the channel. This is going to get bagged. <laughs> Just like the Ferrari over there, which has been bagged, but that's not slammed on the floor. Um, Palm, let's get yeah. that slammed on the, on the floor. Let's right. show the audience. Yeah. This drives so nice. And even when we bagged uh, Chris's, Chris's, 355. Chris's 355, that drove so well. Actually, you may not have seen Chris's 355. We bagged that last year, January 2021. Uh, we'll throw a couple of pictures up. I took that for a drive and I came back and I was like blown away by the way it drove and handled. So don't discount airlift suspension, air ride suspension, if it's installed correctly. Discount, dismiss. Did I discount? Did I say discount? <laughs> we won't discount yeah, yeah, anyway, yeah. but yeah. don't dismiss. <laughs> don't, don't dismiss airlift suspension. Air if it's Air suspension in general, yeah, to be honest If it's set up right and installed correctly. Yeah, so the, the last video was about the air install on this and uh, how we finally got it bagged. Um, so if you keep an eye out, the next one will be on the audio, which the guys are actually going to be working on in the next couple of days. So that should all be done. And then in a few weeks, it's off to Colorcraft for um, Liberty Walk. So, happy days. This is a long-term project. So this, we've got till March, I believe. So yeah, keep an eye on the channel. There's a few episodes that we're dropping over the next few months. Uh, we've got Jay waiting to bring that Merc in, so we need to get out of here. Oh, yeah, I cool. Push this back, and we'll go over to the tool store shop and show you what's going over there. Aaron, what are you saying? All good, how are you? Very good, so Aaron looks after tool store. Um, what's been going on? over here since the last episode? Uh, it's been quite busy. We've had a big shipment of Makita come in, about 11 pallets of power tools. It's all on the website now as well, so that's gone live. 
Okay, any promotions, Black Friday deals happening? Uh, yeah, middle of the month, we're gonna try and do some Black Friday sales, um, and then that'll be live, and you can check that, it'll be on the website with a big banner, and there'll be a whole section for discount items. So that's middle of November, on the website, tool store, check it out, loads of promotions, loads of deals. In fact, Palm, is there anywhere we can show some of the products we've yeah. got. So did those 11 pallets land last week while we were away? Yes, they did. Yeah? While you were right, there. lovely. Let's go check it out, man. Let's go. Wow, this is a lot of stock. Look at that. Makita cordless grease guns. Makita uh, cordless combination hammer drills. You've got sanders. You've got normal drills. You've, oh, mate, honestly, we're all makita would up. Listen, new products being added daily weekly so make sure you hit us up if there is something that you need and you can't find on our website we might even have it in stock so just give us a call or drop us an email and uh, we can check that for you um oh wow look at this compound mitosaurs wow that's a big old thing perfect for guys that love woodworking it's lunchtime isn't it it is yeah should we have lunch now or after we come back let's go out for a drive first well we can mac d's on the way you buying? No problem, man. All right, come on, let's go. Sorry. This has been lowered, hasn't it? Yeah, yeah. Oh, well, that be dry. What for? Go to show you how to drive a lowered car. Comedian. Oh, Oops. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, that'll come out. It's all right, bit of polish. Bit of, bit of compound, all good. So what, you're going to show me how to drive? No, I'm going to show you how to drive a lowered car. What well, different? no, because I, I, I remember how boaty this was with the OEM suspension. Oh, that, that's one. I wouldn't use the word boaty. It was hardly boaty. Yeah, but it, I just, I, I did say it would, it would be a lot better if it was lowered, so let's try it out. Okay, let's go. Let's go for a drive and have a chat, as we always do. And maybe grab some lunch, yeah? Big Mac. Yeah. So, uh, let's talk shows. Uh, last month, uh, October, we held a BMW Empower Me, which was sold out. I think that was on the 22nd of October. That episode's already dropped on the channel. It's had amazing views. I think it's close to maybe 60,000 views at the moment. Yeah, so a really good video. Well. If you've not watched it, uh, description below, give it a watch. Uh, Palm uh, was the one that sort of uh, took the, uh, I can't get my words out. Took, you, the lead, took the lead yeah. on the video. Yeah, Palm was the one that took the lead on that video. Yeah, really cool video. Um, I'm, sure we, they're, I'm sure they're not watching it because of either. They're watching it for the M cars, right? Yeah, but it doesn't matter. It's a really cool video. Uh, next month in December, we are looking to hold our last meet of the year. It'll be an open meet, so you can bring whatever you want. We haven't confirmed a date. We will probably do that in the next week or so once we've confirmed food truck and coffee and so on and so on. So that'll be our last meet for 2022. Um, Show-wise, we did ultimate stance at the weekend in Telford. I yeah. say we. Well, well, we went there. Th well, the lads went up to Altman Stance, and yeah, there was good feedback about that. It's nice to see that people are still attending shows, um, and yeah, it's it's good. It's... Now we weren't there because we were in SEMA. Oh, okay. Guys, if you've never been to the SEMA show, you need to put it on your bucket list because the level of cars is just out of this world. Some of these builds, they take years and. I was speaking to one guy, one of the builds there, I think it's called like the, the Builder Series. You know they had those 10 cars in the Builder Series? That's right, yeah. One of those cars, 19,000 man hours. That's a lot of labor. That's a lot of labor. Hopefully, uh, we manage, well, hopefully we can get a <laughs> episode out of what we managed to vlog. So myself and Palmer walking around with a GoPro and just catching uh, images of cars and just talking rubbish really um, I don't know if the uh, creative guys can create something out of the crap that we filmed I'm sure they will I'm yeah. sure they will I'm yeah. sure they'll make a decent video out of it yeah, so, we'll, yeah. we'll leave that to uh, Harrison and Jason I I'm sure they can rope something together yeah uh, more importantly it'll give you guys a feel for 
what SEMA is about and what kind of stuff you can expect to see if you ever decide to go. I thought you said you were going to show me how to drive a car that's been oh, loaded. Mate, London traffic is unreal. Give it to me. Oh, that's better. Oh my God. That's better. I couldn't do that last time. Turning is a lot better, isn't it? You know, you can really chuck it into the corners now. Yeah. That's amazing. Um, so guys, we've got Black Friday around the corner, literally around the corner. Cardi Security this year will have a lot of Black Friday deals. Last year we couldn't because there were issues with uh, supply chain, semiconductors and so on. This year we have got a lot of inventory which we will be throwing into a Black Friday sale. So make sure you check on the Cardi Security website. I think it's going to go live mid ish middle of november ish uh yeah so mid-month that'll go live uh, just to add to that the airlift black friday sale is already on that's on until the end of uh this month so end of november now just to it's 15 percent off so just to give you an idea if you're if you're looking to purchase a, a four grand air ride kit you're going to save yourself what's 15 600 quid. 600 quid you save yourself that's a chunk of change that. that's a ton of money guys yeah so get involved, uh, airlift promotion already live, car security promotions will go live very soon, home maybe direct promotions will go live as well, tool store as well as we mentioned, and even some promotions on tuning store. Um, so yeah, just check out our website, all the details are down below. Um, staff wise guys, we have actually managed to recruit some staff, however we are still looking for another videographer, we're looking for a creative stroke graphic designer, and some sales staff. Engineer, mechanic? Uh, still, yeah, we need another engineer in the workshop now because our workshop's as busy as ever. Um, and you know what, it's, I, we don't like telling people, sorry mate, we can't fit you in for like eight or nine weeks. Um, uh, but so, but yeah, it is what it is. It is what it is. Uh, so yeah, we need another engineer so we can free up some more workshop, workshop time to get more of you in. As you know, we have sold our Slam Sanctuary Customs Mercedes W124 Coupe project. That's gone. Left the building. Should have kept that. Uh, yeah, but we did say we're going to sell it right from the beginning. I know. So we had to stick to but our guns, yeah. That, that, that car was exceptional. Very good car. Very good car. It's gone to a great home. We need to replace that. So we're looking for another classic to replace that. What would you replace that with? Another Merc or a BM or something? And also, as I said right at the beginning of the episode, our F80 M3, uh, the 997 C2 S GT3-ish, and the Mustang, they're all going up for sale, uh, video dropping in about a week. We need to replace those cars. Those are CAS fleet cars, so we use them to promote car audio, wheels, and airlift. They have to be fairly new cars we replace them with, so what are we thinking? In fact, what do you guys think? G80 M3? Or an M4? RS4, RS5. RS3. Yeah. Just the new GR Supra. Everyone keeps talking about that. In fact, there were so many GR Supras over in uh, Vegas at SEMA. So yeah, SEMA was all about Teslas, Supras, mm. uh, Broncos, which we're not getting in, into the UK, but honestly, the, if we did have the Bronco, it would, what about I, th a, I think it would do well. What about a Tesla? T3, yeah, Tesla 3. Oh yeah. Maybe well, a Tesla. Think... Guys, what do you think? Throw some comments below what we should replace those cars that are, are leaving CAS. We need new cars fairly soon and we've obviously got to build them all up with the wheels and the air and the audio and so on. It's the wrong word, isn't it? Palm's giving it some beats. So yeah, guys, we need at least two, if not three cars. Let us know what you think we should uh, jump into. And uh, I think that's it for now. Uh, another long episode, a lot to talk about. Um, any questions, any comments you have, obviously drop them down below. Uh, we will be back in a month for Cast Unplugged, but in between there, there's gonna be a few episodes dropping on the channel. Make sure you've obviously subscribed to the channel so you know when a new episode drops and uh, share the content as always. Is that cool? Yeah, that's cool. What the, well, I'm hungry. Big Mac? Yeah. Big Mac? Big Mac and fries. Large, large meal. Yeah. Missy's not going to be happy because she gave me lunch, but oh. she don't need to know. <laughs> you can have that tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, I'll have that tonight. <laughs>
Ma. Starsky and Hutch. Oh, what are we doing now? Starsky and Hutch. Ma. I opened the GI Yaris door and the wind caught it. Are you breaking it? No, it's a car that is parked next to it. 